Hi, my name is Newell Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do our first update of our African Nightcrawler bin. So we're probably, I did not add food at the beginning of this. It's been about 19 days since I got the worms, and I haven't added any food. It's just been bedding. I did have a heat mat under it for a couple days to just kind of warm it up a little bit because it's a little chilly down here, but the temperature has warmed up outside, so it's a little bit warmer in my basement as it's not in the 40s anymore outside. So uh, with that, I took the heat mat away. Uh, it seems to be st still in that like 70 degree range, which is a fine. It's a little bit chilly maybe for them. They might prefer that high 70s rather than low 70s, but it should be working okay. And we're going to add food this time. It's frozen, so there shouldn't be any bugs on it. It's also already molded over because it was. Gro I didn't realize it was in the back of my fridge molding over. And we're probably going to add a little bit of crushed eggshell as well. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to open this up. We're going to take a look and see how the worms are doing and see if there's anything that's really off. We're also going to check the temperature to make sure that the temperature is okay. Now, just a reminder, if you're looking to purchase a lot of these things, I do have links down below in my uh, comment section or in the description. So please take a look and help support me in this channel by uh, clicking on those links when you go to purchase something. So with that, let's go to the bin. All right, so here's our uh, 527 and today is 615 so I haven't added any food to this as I said so let's just take off this cover and it looks like they've been working at this pretty well you can see a whole lot of stuff on the top here that sort of jammed in between the grooves we're just gonna let that shake that off a little bit before I move that off to the side and let's grab the temperature gun just to see what temperature this is it looks like it says 71 degrees or Make sure I'm actually pointing at the material. So 71 degrees it looks like. So not too bad, but as I said, it's a little bit more cool than I would like it for um, you know, these type of worms. I've heard that they like warmer materials. Let's just dig down in here. Oh, they're right near the surface here. Look at this, you can see them right here on the surface. They look fairly healthy, although a little bit lethargic, but they are here. I don't know what their cocoons look like. I don't know if they look the same as uh, the normal cocoons I would find. But let's just sort of scrape off this top layer here. Let's just see here. You see a whole bunch right here. They don't, as I said, they don't seem very active. I've heard that they're supposed to be pretty active, but I know also know, as I said, these guys went through a really tough time getting here, unfortunately. So I don't know if all of them are going to make it or the ones that I ordered. It's just one of those unfortunate things that happens with uh, with shipping, you know, where you just don't know what's going to come down the pipe here. So it looks like as we get a little bit further down, they're a little bit more active. I'm trying to slip away on me there. So this one was trying to dig in. As you can see, they're a lot bigger than the other worms that I have. I mean, I don't think these are fully grown either. I think these are kind of small, but they're a lot bigger. So let's just dig down in here. Remember, I didn't have any food in here either for them to eat. This is just bedding material, and I was sort of hoping, actually, let me push this forward just a little bit for you. Sort of hoping that they would uh, take off and really run with this bedding material because I've got a lot of bedding to go through. So they are down in here, though. They're, they're moving around. They're getting around in here. Some of them are a little bit more active than others. This isn't very deep. What's interesting is I'm seeing a couple fruit flies in here, which is really strange. There is no food in this bin at all. There is only paper and the material that was given to me. There is no food whatsoever. It's kind of weird to see some fruit flies. I'm trying to see if I can get one right here. It's a little tiny one that just squ squeezed out over there on the side. But uh, it's really weird that I'm seeing, I've seen a couple of them since I opened this up and I'm kind of surprised by that. I mean, as I said, there's nothing that's edible in here for them or there shouldn't be. So look at that, seeing some of them down in here. So this is a good sign. They're moving around in here. We're going to mix this up a little bit. This will hopefully get the uh, bio mass going, although this did sit for a while being wet and everything, and it should be uh, should have some of that in here. But I, I also worry about it being just a little bit too chilly for them. So now we dug this up a little bit. Let's just take a, another temperature reading and see how it is here in the lower section. I'm going to point it at me first so I can read the temperature, though. Oh, it still says 71, it looks like, given in these sections over here. So, you know, maybe a little bit lower, maybe 70. So it could be a little bit warmer, but uh, when I put that 
that heating mat underneath here really heated up to like the mid 80s. I felt that that was too warm. Uh, you know, especially if it's going higher than that at all during the day or anything. So, but you know, we're gonna mix this up a little bit, get this kind of moving. There's some bigger worms down in here. So overall, just move that just a little bit out, a little bit more. Overall, it looks like they're doing okay. They're not doing great, they're not doing bad. But I know, I also know, and I wanna say this, whenever you order worms, I have found it can take a generation really before you have a good viable worm. A lot of times they are raised on different food stocks than what you raise them on. So as an example, I've got cardboard. Maybe these were raised on manure, or maybe they were raised on some other type of spent grain or something like that. And you know, the, the first generation isn't used to the feed stocks you're giving them. They might not be used to cardboard. So they might be like, why am I getting this stuff? And what is it? And they might not do well until that second generation comes in and they're like, I'm used to this stuff. This is all I've ever eaten and it's great. So now we're gonna add food on this side and then we're gonna check the other side. So the food we're adding today is strawberries. So these are actually, that's that's not ice on there, that is mold. I did not realize that these were in the back of my uh, my refrigerator. Um, one of my kids pushed it behind some other stuff and it disappeared. So we had a couple really, really moldy strawberries. I froze them and they are frozen right now, but the, the what you saw in there before was not actual um it's not ice it's not only ice on the outside i'm going to put fresh cardboard over top of this actually we're going to put them before we do that let me just take off my glove here before we put on any fresh cardboard or anything what we're going to do here is i'm going to put on some of my uh crushed crab and eggshell this is a little bit um moist when i ground these up so it's a little bit sticky together a little bit more but you know you got to get some of that stuff in there that's always good for them to have that uh that grit and i'm going to put on some fresh cardboard here too just just to kind of protect them from this cold because they are not really good with cold temperatures so we're going to put some of that on top it's okay they are supposed to be really really good at eating cardboard and, and i'm really hoping that this actually does happen because i have a ton of cardboard in my house so with that let's spray it and get that a little bit moist since it looks like the moisture is a little bit off in here it's not too bad but it might be a little bit dry so going to add some moisture and we're going to cover this up so that way hopefully nothing can get down in here so let's just add a little bit of moisture in here now, as i said i did not have any food in here at all i only had bedding material i just sort of wanted to get them used to this you know used to the uh the best the bin here and it's a good thing i did because they were it was actually really really uh took them a real long time to get here so we're going to cover this back up with this thick material here. I don't know what that is right there. That looks like almost a plant or something, but uh, it almost looks like a plant. We'll take that out. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's a piece of plastic or not. So we're gonna dig on this side now. Let's just take a look over here. Like, ooh, more worms on this side it looks like too. And they're digging into this cardboard underneath. So hopefully they'll start moving around the bin. Some of them look pretty, pretty large in here. As I said, I, I'm not seeing any cocoons, but I'm not exactly sure what they look like. I've heard that they can look a little bit different for these worms uh, than the, uh, the yellow cocoons, I think, that I'm used to seeing. But they are starting to dig into the, uh, the material underneath, it looks like, too, which is a good sign. I want them to do that. Oh my gosh, look how long this one is. Well, I, he was spread out, and he was really, really long when I first looked at him. Look at this, though. This is, this is not what I'm used to with, with worms. I mean, look at this. Look how long that guy is. So they're, they're a much, much longer worm than I'm used to. Um, but so far, it looks like they're at least still alive, which is good after 15 days. Um, let's just mix up some of this material in the center as well. Just try to make sure that all this stuff touches something that maybe has the microbial population, and that way they can start kind of latching on here and really start working at this material. And then we've got a little bit of food on this side and I'll put my new label over here on this corner. So like, you know, I've labeled this one right here. I'll label, put the new label right here so we know which side we fed on. And that way we can kind of keep track. I'm not seeing any mites or anything in here. As I said, I was kind of surprised. I saw a couple of fruit flies that looked like climb out of here and fly away, which is really surprising. There's a couple worms that are actually dug into this part right here. So you can see this. So they're, they're starting to really work at the bedding material, which is good. But remember, this was a small amount that I ordered. I did not order, you know, a pound of worms. I ordered only 300 worms. It looks like it was a good amount that came, but these worms are just a lot bigger. So we got to let them give them a chance to get acclimated, get going. 
and we'll see how they do. So overall, so far it looks like we have a successful start, although we'll see as this continues. Again, uh, somebody did recommend, I do want to show you here, I originally had this kind of curved up on the sides. They recommended that I leave that edge open all the way around so these edges stay dry because these worms have a tendency to escape. Um, if I do find that happening, I will probably move them to one of my, uh, my other bags, either the Verma bag or my other urban worm bag. But I'm hoping that's not the case. We can keep them in here for a little longer and then maybe in uh, another you know, six months or something, move them to one of the bag systems. I'm afraid the bags are going to be too large uh, for this amount of worms. It's just, uh, you know, they might expand quickly, but not that quickly probably. So that's my update. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, if you have any suggestions, also let me know. This is the first time I'm working with these worms. I have debated on adding the, you know, that heating mat back on, but I decided against it for now because I do, don't want to overheat them and kill them that way as well because it was getting up, as I said, in the mid-80s. And I think around 90 is kind of a deadly temperature for them as well. So uh, that's my update. Again, I have Amazon links down below. If you don't mind clicking on those, if you're looking to purchase something from uh, my shop or the, uh, the, the, what I'm linking to below, please do that. And that helps me out in my channel. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in a, in a week or two.